Hey, how's everybody doing? My name's Lex Coop, and I am back. And I want to give you guys a, I'm going to try and give you guys a quick tutorial on uh, voice meter banana as well as virtual optical cables um, by this company here, uh, VB Audio Software. Now, what they've done is something amazing, and it's all free software. And you guys are going to have to, if you want to use this, go down and download, and um, you, you, it's it's just amazing uh, compared to the uh, alternatives which are paid software like 35 to 50 bucks which doesn't seem that bad but this does everything that you need as and it's free and then um, it has the option of donating which I recommend it um, you get the free optical cable one free optical cable and if you donate money you get two more um, you get these two here which I have uh, right here so if you donate, it's worth it. It's, it's I recommend it. So donate. First thing you're going to want to do is go down to this section here and download the virtual optical cable. And you're going to get uh, this file here. And that's just your first basic virtual optical cable. And you're going to want to install it by right-clicking and run as administrator. And once you run through it, it'll just install it. It's very, very, very quick. And then you'll get the this one virtual optical cable, which is this one here. So you'll get the one free optical cable, and then if you get the other two, which is this one, you, then you do the same thing: run as administrator if you donate, and uh, the third one, which is this one here, and then do the same thing: right-click on uh, the 64-bit version if you have a 32-bit version of of Windows, then do that and run as administrator and get them all installed. The next thing you're want to, going to want to do is go back to the website, go up to the top, and there's two different versions of voice meter. There's voice meter, the regular version of voice meter, which is this one here, and it just comes with like the basics. You get uh, two lines in A and B, and you get your equalizer, which is for um, an input of sound. and than your outputs and it's really basic it's really good if you only need to do one thing with it by all means it's a lot more simple of a program however they do have the banana version I don't know why they call it banana but because bananas peel in multiple ways I guess I don't know this is the banana version here so in both things you're gonna want to scroll down until you see the download version so you can get the exportable files the exp file which is basically the just the to, to install it or you can click the download and get the folder itself and and then install it that way I just ended up doing this one this is for the regular voice meter and this is for voice meter pro do again run by as administrator to get it all set up so if you went with the banana version you're gonna have this this is what you're gonna be looking at now to how you can set it up these are your three inputs and you can have them set up however you want. Mine is set up through um, so that my third one here is my communication default, meaning like Skype and TeamSpeak, anything, any one of those. So what first thing you want to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that the optical cable is your main source for communication. So you'll go to Skype and you set uh, the input to optical input. That's just the basic optical input and then you can set this one as well the same right so now that you got those set up anytime you run run those they're gonna be playing back on here after you set this up so you click this and you choose which one you want now a lot of people are confused between MME and WDM and the difference is the bitrate so the WDM has a bitrate of 48,000 Hertz and the MME has an uh, digital output of 44,100 Hertz so depending on the quality of your microphone as well as like the, your system itself what it can handle because if you try and make it more powerful than the system can handle there'll be like scratches and ticks and stuff so I'm able to do the uh, WDM version a lot of people don't re really quite know that but I was I did some look research and found out so once you have it set up to do to set this up so that this is my microphone one my Astro A A40 headset, which is this microphone here, um, can only handle the 
uh, 41, 44,000 hertz because it's just a basic microphone. But my Astro headset, I also have set to MME, but you could set it up for the, the other one. It, it depends on like what you want to set it up for. Now to rename these so you know what you're, what they are, you just right click on it. You type in what you want to type in, you press enter. Same thing for here, and then same thing for here, communications default. So this is how you've set up line one, two, and three. Uh, so now these are all your inputs of sound and you want to find out where you want them to go. So right now you don't really need to have them set up for a lot. It depends on where you need them to go. This one I set is my communication, so my Skype and TeamSpeak, because now it's not set to my headset, it's set to this program. And to have it go through to my headset, I need to have it selected on A1 and then go over to your A1 out port. So this is going to say where it wants you to send the signal to. So now I've set it to my my ear earbuds on my headset. So it'll go through my headset and uh, I'll be able to hear whatever it is in A1. So if I wanted to hear myself talk, I can click this and I can hear myself talk. Or with the other microphone, which is this one, which I unmuted, I muted for this commentary. And uh, then I would be able to hear that. I don't want to hear myself talk. So that's how you can set it up to go in this program through the optical cable and back out to your headset so you hear everything and the delay is so minute it's so small it's like milliseconds of a delay it's barely anything at all which is amazing for a free software I recommend donating by the way because they did an amazing job and you get the extra outputs if you want to do some more complicated stuff so I have my microphones going in and then there's also equalizers and everything so for the gate here, what a gate is basically is it changes when the microphone is activated. So if I stop talking, it goes completely blank like you would assume. However, if I turn the gate off, I have it at 5.9, you can change it to whatever, how sensitive your mic is. Now if I stop talking, there's a little noise in the background that's being picked up. So I usually, depending on uh, how loud the area I'm in is, is working, I like to have it around 5 and that'll set up to um, cancel out any background noise. So it has to be really loud for the microphone to actually start working. And then you can have that set go, go out to, um, like say you wanted to record through this program to make it sound really, really nice. You can actually change it and have it set up and go out to... Uh, virtual optical cable 2 or some other method so that it can uh, sound really nice. Now these uh, things here, these equalizers, um, you can actually change them so that it changes the sound of your voice and your voice sound can sound uh, more bassy, uh, more high pitch and you just mess around with this and you can find out what you want. There's more of an echo up at the top if you have it, have, have it higher and uh, to the more the right makes it sound like. If you went from the top right you end up having it be like uh, um, sound like a radio basically so it's kind of like if you want a, a nice little cool effect and the bait it's uh, if you go down to the bottom and to the left it's a little bit more bassy so mess around with that and find out whatever you like and you can just hear it by clicking on this and then I can hear how I how I sound so right now I just have my communications going into my headset these ones are uh, virtual inputs now they can be selected through other programs um, like if you're using um, Adobe Audition, which I'm going to do another tutorial on how to set up this with Adobe Audition to record multi, excuse me, multi-layered tracks. So you can record each one of these inputs will have a different sound um, and will go on a different track line so that you can record different things and you can adjust the audio later for exporting video reasons or, or for whatever reason you need it for. Um, so that's I think I've pretty much covered most of it um, how you can set up your inputs how you can set up the outputs and then there's the equalizers which you can mess around with depending on how, how, how the sounds you like I'm kinda shocked there's not really too much of an equalizer option for your inputs but you can also set up because these are all the same ones right so this is for line one so if I set this up this will go into um, the A1 slot and this is the equalizer for A1. So you can go through and mess around with this. I haven't messed around with this too much, so all right, I don't want to hear myself talk. I haven't messed around with this too much, so I can't quite give you 
you know, too much of a tutorial on that. Um, and mute option is pretty common. It makes sense. And over here, there's mute, solo, and mono. So if you have this on solo, but I have my microphone, my other microphone on, this is the only one that's getting going to be getting picked up through this um, voice meter banana. If you have them both set, it's basically like you don't have either solo. Or say you want these two mics to work and not this one, then this one won't work. If I run, um, you know, tests in the background, you can see that it's going, but it's not actually being picked up because I have it on uh, these ones on solo, and then mono is basically not uh, giving. Uh, applying the option of surround sound. Um, so that is pretty much how to set up uh, voice meter banana with your virtual optical cables as well as um, trying to set it up with uh, TeamSpeak or Skype or any of those uh, communication things that you want to use just so that way you can record this later. That's the only reason why I did it is so that I can record them later uh, or record them. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, if you guys want come back and I'm going to do another tutorial on how to record multi-layer tracks with Adobe Audition and get I'm going to get into a little bit of like how to import them into um, Adobe Premiere Pro for, for later post editing. And I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Lex Coop saying rate, comment, subscribe. Do you do good. Douche. This is my optical output that goes with the the headset, and if you go over to to the uh, default format, this page here itself doesn't show up unless you go through this process, and then you can pick Dolby Digital Live, and that's how you get set up with it.